Welcome to spectacular Monte Carlo for the inaugural Solar One Monte Carlo Cup, running from the 10th to the 12th of July. A new era of powerboats were on show at the prestigious Yacht Club de Monaco as the best teams in this green and innovative sport gathered to set the pace for a new generation of powerboat enthusiasts. Showing off an array of fancy boats with high-tech designs and all totally powered from solar energy, the teams were oozing positivity as they displayed their vessels ahead of racing. So we wanted to, uh, to make sure for the, for the public that they understand you can have fun racing on the water at high speeds, but do that totally environmental friendly. So this is how we invented the solar racers, which only take the power from the sun, and we use that to go forward, no fossil fuels at all. Once the last instructions were given to the skippers, all of the boats prepared for the first starting signal. There were three classes to race, the A-class, the open class and the V-20, with each team being allowed to enter one boat per class. Three racing formats are scheduled for this prestigious event, fleet race, slalom race and one-on-one -on -one sprint race. The opening day was all about the fleet race. The boats squeezed in along the starting line waiting for the gun before they could leap into action. The fleet race focuses on endurance, highlighting the ability of the boats to run for a long period of time whilst being powered solely by nature. The mission for the teams was to try and complete as many laps as possible within a two-hour period. The V20 is a one-design class, meaning all the boats are very similar. But despite the similarities, Team Beluga, powered by Synergy, were stand out, leaving their rivals far behind. In the open class, Midnight Sun KYAMK team ruled the waves and secured first place. And in A class, where all the teams had to follow the maximum length and power output restriction, the Dutch solar boat team came out on top. Endurance was key here, so the pilots had to sacrifice speed to save energy. Quite an ask in the choppy conditions. Well, at this moment we were going as fast as was safe on those waves. So not much of energy saving, it was not uh, that hard. But because of the problems, uh, we had to uh, figure out a new strategy. But that was not that uh, big of a problem because we have lots of sun here. So. Aside from racing, the glamorous on-land activities at the spectacular Yacht Club de Monaco guaranteed that this event was widely appreciated. Moments of relaxation and joy under the sound of live music between racing. In the second day of the Solar One Monte Carlo Cup, the glamorous Yacht Club de Monaco was buzzing with life as all of the teams prepared their high-tech, eco-friendly boats for a demanding day of racing. The second day of the event saw a packed schedule, with two different races lined up for the day – the slalom race and the one-on-one -on -one sprint race. The weather made for a tricky start to the day, as a reasonable breeze forced the race committee to set the course inside the marina. But this change of course made for some brilliant viewing for the fans, as the action was brought even closer to the shore and the change of scenery also made for a dramatic backdrop for the day's racing. We're just uh, running the future now, I think. Uh, uh, everything is changing very quickly, and those boats are technology uh, sublime. I think we're going we're gonna to listen about Solar Plus for many, many years. The day opened with the slalom race. This is the race where the pilots race against the clock in a bid to get the fastest lap time, with each team having two attempts each. The slalom race is a demanding format as speed and steering skills are both necessary. Mm -hmm. 
All the pilots looked for the best possible acceleration points and tried to go tight round the marks to get the best time. In the V20 class, Team Beluga, powered by Synergy, continued its victorious performance, claiming first place yet again. In the A-class, the Dutch solar boat team were all smiles as they clocked the fastest time on the racetrack. Meanwhile, in the open class, the Clafis Private Energy solar boat team too came out on top of the slalom course. The race continued with the one-on-one -on -one sprint race where the teams ran separately in, depending on how they ranked. The two top finishers in each class qualified for the final round where the winner was decided after two race wins in a match race format. In the open class there was a feeling of civil war as the Clafis Private Energy Solar Boat Team 1 battled with the Clafis Private Energy Solar Boat Team 2. In the end it was Team 1 who came out victorious having scored two bullets. In the V20 class, the fight was on between Team Beluga powered by Synergy and KMTO as they waited on the start line. Team Beluga were the undoubted winners taking the necessary two wins. Experience, really good experience. We start to find out some some more information, some more new information for us about foiling, about power board, about the energy and saving air energy. You know, and we are happy. We are happy to be here. In A class, HAN team gave the greatest performance and managed to overtake the Dutch solar boat team in the finals with a score of 2-0. Solar One creates global events that match the remarkable scale and innovation of this amazing industry. Events which aim not only to entertain, but also educate people in the advancements and capabilities of solar power now and for the future. One of the most important elements of the Solar One Monte Carlo Cup 2014 and the characteristic that makes it so distinct is its commitment to challenging environmental issues. been a week of craziness setting it up. We've learned some things, we've made some mistakes, we will learn by those mistakes and make the event even better. Um, we've got teams which have, have a sense of community and a family. We've had great fun, it's been brilliant races and, and the, it can only get bigger, it can only get better each year. The inaugural Solar One Monte Carlo Cup wrapped up with a typically impressive and glamorous closing ceremony showcasing Monte Carlo's spectacular hospitality. Prizes and awards were given out amongst the warm applause of the crowd, a proud moment for the teams that triumphed. After such a successful event, it's no surprise that many of the teams and Solo Boat fans have already signed up to take part in the next event, and it looks set to be another eventful regatta.